O F <laughs> and Cox. Today's the last day of winter break, so me and Chase are playing a game. Being and lazy. <laughs> okay. Here's Chase and his blankie, Chase as go usual. Go Chase, go to the so anyways, they're both playing Minecraft, getting along for once. And it's just afternoon and I'm making lunch. I'm making this cream of potato soup, which basically you boil water. And you throw in this. It's by Bear Creek, and this cream of potato soup's really good. And you can add bacon to it, or ham, or whatever you want. I think I might throw some ham in there. And then I'm also making some carrot cake muffins. It was uh, one of these little Rabbit Creek products that we got when we had um, dinner at Zender's and uh, Frankenmuth. We bought a few of these little cake mix things, some to give away to family for the holidays and other ones for us to make ourselves. And this one, it's carrot cake muffin mix with cream cheese glaze. So we heated up some leftover Sloppy Joes to eat with our soup and it's lunch time. How's the cupcake? Look how Chase sits and eats like a grasshopper. <laughs> His legs. What a weirdo. You're, weirdo. <laughs> You're supposed to eat your food first and your cupcake last, guys. Well, it's melting. Yeah, the press thing is kind of melting because it's still hot. Oh, look at it. Oh, and now the puppies are eating. Or just Tori. <laughs> actually dinner time and we're getting ready to leave everybody's been kind of just having a lazy afternoon boys have been on video games Carly's been reading her book and I've been reading this book it's called wildflower by Drew Barrymore and if you guys don't know who she is she is the little girl who played in the movie E.T. and she's been in lots of other movies like with Adam Sandler I can't think of what 51st dates I think anyways it is a biography and it's really good and I've had it on my nightstand for a long time and finally started reading it today which has made me kind of sleepy and I told Ken I'm like all right we need to get it out of this house for a little bit I'm feeling like I have cabin fever again so we're actually gonna take off and go to dinner and then by the time we get home it's gonna be time for the kids to get in showers and get ready for bed and it's back to school tomorrow it's snowing it is yeah. barely <gasps> Please Maybe there will be enough oh, snow and they'll cancel school. Yeah. <laughs> that gonna happen. Drop some spoons down the drain. Oh, you put um, you ice put down the toilet. Spoons down the drain. <laughs> You're trying to break the garbage disposal? You put ice cubes in the toilet and don't you put like spoons no, in your... No, you put a spoon under your pillow. Yeah. What? No, you put it in your pillowcase. I never heard of that. There's one more thing. Oh, you got to put your uh, pajamas on backwards. How about you have to wait for the clouds to roll in with a lot of water in them? <laughs> have you guys heard of those little tricks you're supposed to do to Jeez, you didn't press wish for a snow day the next day? Hey, you little liar. <laughs> Some of you guys have probably never even had a snow day off school in your entire life. Imagine yeah, that. That's the only people. positive to snow. <laughs> Snow day! Ooh, I look pink. Police, so, Carly put on your seatbelt. Okay, so. Okay, so. Somebody pointed out how um, Carly, Carly doesn't really say seatbelt. that in the videos too much anymore. She, uh, she always queso. used to be like, okay, so. Not really. Okay, so. Alright, so I wanted to ask you guys a question. This can be question of the day. I was wondering that now that the kids are going back to school and it seems like we pretty much have just been vlogging every day. Um, 
We haven't really been doing a whole lot in terms of challenges and stuff lately, and we need to get some more of those on our schedule. But in the meantime, I was wondering, so typically we don't start filming until like three, sometimes five every day when the kids are in school because the kids are in school. So I told Ken we need to start filming more of like what we do. Not a lot, just maybe like a minute or two every day of like some stuff that we have going on during the day to have you guys get to know us better and what do we do. So anyways, answer down below. Do you want to see more of us in the videos? <laughs> or just or candy. just keep things the same? What or, do you mean just, or just candy? Or just candy and not as much Ken. Why? Because no one People think you're funny. I'm not funny. <laughs> There's nothing funny here. I know that one. Well, Who thinks I'm funny? I'm not going to like it. I can't think Chase. of anything exactly. Yes, Am I funny? No. Exactly. <laughs> but you're a Will Ferrell, then you would be my favorite dad. I can be Will Ferrell. <laughs> anyway, so just. Santa's coming! That's not how he says it. 10 a.m. Anyways, so just comment below. Either keep the videos exactly the same. We really don't want to see more of you guys. Or, yeah, show us more of what goes on in the house while the kids are at school. Lots of sleeping, napping. <laughs> You're such a liar. All right, we'll see you guys when we get home. Hi guys, so we just got back from dinner and Carly had to finish reading her book because she has to take an AR test tomorrow so she can get those points before the end of the quarter, right? Me and my mom had been talking about how we kind of wanted to start like a thing like where we're kind of just talking to you guys like about a specific subject. Like one week we might talk about how the weather is where we live <laughs> or anything. more important Something. things though, like maybe bullying or how um, Sasser ran away. That's a good one. Or maybe, yeah, telling you guys stories about, about things demons. that have happened or um, maybe even talk about like a book we read. Read? 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 A book, start a book club. A book we read, a movie we seen, but like not just oh we seen a movie and it was so funny, but like you know Detail. like important topics, things that matter to us. I think that um, one thing that I always admire about like actors and actresses or um, like singers, Taylor Swift, whoever, like I really admire that they get involved in things that are important to them like charities or you know like missions they're just involved in like missions to help I with like certain singers. situations i like singers who like adopt them yeah and cool. we just wanted to do something where we feel like um we're making a difference and we have been like in 2015 we were definitely more charitable than ever before and we hope to continue to be able to do that i know carly has a strong love for animals so we really want to do some things and get involved with animals, not <gasps> about bringing them into our home. <laughs> but anyways, the point we want to make is we want to kind of message you guys with a special meaning. Send a message, yes. I guess, maybe, where you listen to us talk about a certain topic and you can walk away <clears throat> with maybe having... Feeling different. Yeah, or you learn something or whatever. Or inspire you to go do that. So we or thought... inspire you to go buy a horse. And one thing I just want to say right off the bat is I was like, we were trying to talk about together, should we do this on Mondays? Should we, you know, whatever. And we decided we don't really want to have a schedule with this. Um, basically... Feel like once a week. Like, we feel like maybe we would do it once a week, but you just don't know. So maybe, what we'll do... Maybe once every other week. Yeah. So only we're just going to play it by ear in the beginning and see if you guys like it, if you respond to it, and how it goes, and how we feel about and it and stuff. And we are going to create a playlist called O F <laughs> and Talks. Right, it's the hashtag is going to be OFN Talks. So in the future, if there are things that you want us to talk about, or maybe you have like a problem that you would like us to help you with, or 
um, maybe something with your friend, any kind of advice or topics that you just feel strongly about, whether it be on Instagram or Twitter. Um, Facebook. We're not big on Twitter. I mean, we're on there, but it's definitely not like our go-to place. But like Instagram or the comments on our actual videos, if you use that hashtag OFN Talks, we can go in on our YouTube channel and plug in that hashtag and look for your guys' comments and questions and stuff. But please, I want to make it of the most okay. importance. Please don't use the hashtag and like ask us questions like, Carly, where did you get your bedspread? <laughs> That's not what this is for. This Steinmark. Is, she got it from Steinmark for all you guys who keep asking over and over and over again. again. So we'll today with it TV being, we're back to school tomorrow. We're going to get back on schedule. I know my whole entire week is going to be all about planning and working towards goals that we have as a family for this year. So our topic for this first Our Family Net or OFN Talks video is going to be goals. Goals. What we wanted to talk about in terms of goals is two different things. Number one, on how to focus on your goals that you're setting for this year and how to try to stay on track and not just forget about them 10 days later. And then number two, um, the word goals used in a different sense where if you- Like people, like when they say, like on Instagram, when you post a picture of you and your friend, they say goals. Goals. Like, we get a lot of comments. Saying family goals. Family goals. And or dog goals. <laughs> Pet goals. <laughs> um, so it's used in a different, uh, used in a different matter. The reason why we wanted to talk to you guys about that is because we feel that sometimes people probably have a um, untrue, unrealistic opinion of what our family is like, where people are like, "Oh, you, you and your." Um, husband had the perfect relationship or you and your kids have the perfect relationship and I wish my mom was like you because you know the kids get to do so many fun things and that sort of thing and um, we haven't even talked about this ahead of time I'm gonna let Carly talk about what is the realistic true if we had cameras in our house 24 7 and there was no editing at all what are some of the things that go on in our house that people don't get to see? Um, a lot of sibling fighting. Me and Chase, definitely. A lot of dog fighting that we don't get on camera. That <laughs> happens a lot. Over their bones. Yes, and a lot of husband and wife fighting. That we happens. argue, just like yes. probably normal people. You do with your spouse or kids watching how your parents probably argue about we stuff. We really don't do that much interesting things. <laughs> like like days like today. We have today. a day where we just sit home the whole entire time. And get Kevin really fever. Like today where I was like, we need to get out of this house. So we went to dinner. A lot of work. Yelling at you guys to get your chores done. How many times do we usually have to tell you to empty the dishwasher before you finally do it? Today I did it on the first one. And whoops. Ow, my and hair. do you get yelled at a lot? There and there. <laughs> Here and there. <laughs> you mean there and there. Anyways, do you really you... don't get to see what these average kids at our house do. You never get to see Blake play video games all day long. Right. Or you just see Chase play video games all day. Down. Your dad plays You don't get video to see games. us wake up in the morning. Yeah. You don't get to see us. When our house is make really, food. really, really messy and, and we have laundry I'm pouring sure out over that. the baskets and I'm screaming because there's clothes all over the floor. And I guess when the point the dogs I'm, chew your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> the point I'm trying to get at is I know you guys watch our videos and I know you guys think like oh perfect. you know my life's so terrible I so perfect, you know everything yeah. the point I'm getting at is you know we're it's great for you to say oh you guys are family goals or whatever and and if there's things that we are doing in our videos that you guys think that maybe you'd like to do with your family just talk to your parents about it and say you know what I watch these guys on YouTube and they get to go to the movies a lot. Can we maybe try to go to the movies once a month or can we have family night? And you'd be surprised. Like I know 
everybody's financial situation is different and there's a lot of people out there struggling and maybe your parents can't afford to go out to dinner or go to the movies and stuff but if you talk to your parents about it maybe you can work out something where you do some extra chores and and that kind of thing and then the second sense in terms of goals for the new year my only advice for that is write things down create checklists reread your list every morning um what uh, what would you say what kind of advice to stick with your goals phone reminder <laughs> phone reminders that's like a good when one you wake up in the morning like if your goal is you want to make or sure put your background go to your notes section write all the stuff down and put it open. as your background so when you open your phone in the morning like if your goal is you want to read a book a month because you you don't read enough or your goal mm -hmm. is what would be a goal that maybe you would have clean your pets once a month keep your hamster cage cleaner than it usually is <laughs> have it pop up on your phone every oh, yeah. every you other friday peanut in pitchcoach cage mm -mm. i think that about wraps up what we're getting at today we kind of just come up with our own topic we really are counting on you guys to maybe ask us some good questions i have some other topics in mind that i would like to talk about but We'd like you guys to get involved and give, give us some and ideas. So if you guys have any topics that you would like us to talk about, you can always send us a message through YouTube if you don't want it to be something that <laughs> is public. Or even if you leave it in the comments, we're not going to be necessarily sharing that your name asked this question. We don't like, want this to be about fan shout outs or anything like, like that. Just thing. use the hashtag OFN Talks and um we'll start working on those and like i said this might be once a week every other week we're not sure every 10 days who knows but it every will be in the day. title somewhere in whatever the video is titled we'll use that hashtag ah, so you'll office. know that that's one of the videos and we'll always have it at the end of the video whatever that video is so that way once you see this segment part of the video is starting if this doesn't interest you that's if you watch this video for different reasons and you could really care less what Carly and I are having to talk about <gasps> you can just not watch the rest of the video and that would be okay well, yes just to tell you guys soon we may be making a funny playlist <laughs> with this little raccoon here and our raccoons downstairs <laughs> raccoons mm -hmm. yeah we have some new things that we're working on for the year and we're so excited about kind of branching out and trying some different things and uh, i don't know we're just gonna have fun with our channel this year and we hope you guys enjoy everything we've been doing and, and sasser will see you tomorrow and sasser's having her own video tomorrow no, she's not. She's going to have a cage tour. Actually, that's a good Cage idea. tour. <laughs> you, should, you should do that. Anyways, so we already asked you the question of the day. The if you're tour. still watching this video, thanks for hanging in there. Um, normally, these segments won't last this long. Like I said, we just wanted to introduce to you guys what our plan is, what we plan on doing. And um, that's it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Bye. The question Thumbs of the day. Thumbs up the video. We already is... did question of the day. All right. So bye. Bye.